Now getting a little more in depth into the segmental lean analysis, again, we can see poundage value here on the top, 9.94 pounds of lean mass in that right arm. But we take a look down here, the percentage is saying 127.1. So it's a little bit confusing there. Uh, the top number being a poundage value. This is how many fat-free pounds you have in your right arm. This 127 number is a percentage. And one, again, 100% is going to be the average, kind of like most of this sheets in, in terms of lean mass. Anytime you see 100 and it's talking about muscle, 100 is the average, this little 100 here. That's average. So we can see this person is 27.1% higher in their right arm lean mass than somebody else like them who weighs the same, who has the same height, who has the same um, gender as well. So it is a little bit confusing, but that is the, that's the gist of it there. When we look uh, based on ideal weight, if this person was their quote unquote ideal weight, they would be 30 some percent higher in terms of their right arm lean mass, but based on their current weight, they're only 27.1. I don't agree with ever basing anything off of weight, so tend to skim over that. Uh, don't put too much thought into it other than that this is, this is the poundage value. This is showing you how you compare to other people exactly like you. So this person, uh, for other people who weigh the same amount, the same height, same gender is 27.1% higher in right arm lean mass, 30.5% here, yet they have 10.23 pounds of lean mass in their left arm. Really what we want here, and ideally, I tell this to every single person, is that we want these to be somewhat like lined up. If you look here at this person's results, you can see they're top heavy. And the reason why is their legs are not extended out as far. And you can see here, I mean, it's only 10.1% higher in their right leg, 8.3% higher in their left leg. Meanwhile, their upper body and torso is in the 20s and 30s. So this person can safely uh, look at it and think, hey, I can grow the most lead mass in my legs. So that is a great area for them to focus on is their legs until they can get it to really like match their arms and come out here. Uh, that would be ideal. We just wanna be as balanced as possible when it comes to lean mass to reduce our risk for uh, non-contact injuries like a back spasm, a muscle cramp, a muscle pull, just little stuff that can really ruin our day.